Well, that was a game I didn't expect. Burnley uh, drew uh, against Reading, um, nil-nil. And uh, I've got a feeling that uh, the, the um, injury to Teller did um, stop Burnley from actually you know, scoring more goals or even one goal. Okay, let's start from the beginning, the 10th of April 2023, uh, Reading versus Burnley. Uh, Reading's formation was 4-4-2 and Burnley's was 4-3-3. Some changes actually in this team, and Murek didn't play, um, pick up fouls in goal. The last game that Burnley played against Reading, Burnley won 2-1 on the 29th of October 2022 and the scorer was Benson and Zayori. For today, referee is Oliver Longford. That, who, that, was, that was a referee. And this is, let's talk Burnley number 89. So your team news, Peek Up Foul, Roberts, Al Dahil, Bayer, Taylor, Cullen, Goodmanson, Twine, Teller, Foster, Benson. That was a starting lineup, and your substitutes was Murick, Cork, Barnes, Zayori, Vitinho, Bastion, and Chernyov. Right. I mean, Burnley was all over the, um, all over Reading in the first half and in the second half. Um, in, but in the 18th minute, Chernobylov replaced Teller because of injury. I don't know how bad that injury is. Hope it's not. Hope it's not bad. Uh, and Burnley did have most of the play in the in the first half, and uh, they had um, how many shots? Nine shots on goal in the first half. So I mean, they were in, you know, up and running in the in the actual game itself. There were lots of possession. Um, so your stats for the first half was 77% possession. Nine shots, only one on target. Um, six corners and six fouls. The second half started the same way with Burnley pressing once again. But then in the 64th minute, we had a substitute. Cork replaced Goodmanson. I don't know what that's to do with injury or, or tiredness or just a replacement tactical uh, then in the 81st minute another substitute Zayori replaces Scott Twine um, and also Barnes replaces Foster and in the 89th minute Cork gets a yellow card full time nil nil nothing to shout about really Burnley should have won this one with all the possession they had. 75% um, possession for the complete game, 16 shots, and again, one, one on target. I'm very surprised about that. Seven corners, 13 fouls. Yes, um, I'm a little bit disappointed. I expected Burnley to win this one, but it's a good job that um, we weren't depending on this one to win the actual title because Sheffield United won their game against Cardiff 4-1 um, but we needed Cardiff to beat Sheffield United and we to, to beat Reading for that to happen first to get the title uh, Middlesbrough also won the other night 5-1 against Norwich um, okay, so now we've got the Burnley's position in the league, still top, played 41, 126, drawn 13, lost 2, 91 points. So we've lost points really, um, so hopefully we're going to get to that 100, 100 points before the end of the season and possibly even beat uh, the 106 record. Sheffield United Played 41, 124, drawn 7, lost 10, 79 points. And in third place, Middlesbrough played 42, 121, drawn 8, lost 13, 71 points. 
So they're 20 points behind Burnley, Middlesbrough. Um, and Sheffield United are 11 points behind um, Burnley. Right, the next game for Burnley is Tuesday, uh, 7.45 away at Rotherham. And then we're home on the 22nd of April to Queen's Park Rangers. And then we've got a big one, uh, Tuesday the 25th of April, 8 o'clock, away at Blackburn Rovers. Now I'm just hoping that the team can actually be fully fit um, for the Blackburn Rovers game, but um, we do need them fit for every game if we're going to clinch the title at some point in the next two or three games. But um, I'm, I'm slightly disappointed, you know, watching the game. We should have won it. If we'd had more shots on target, possibly we would have won it. But I'm a bit disappointed with only getting one shot on target out of, was it 13? 16. 16 shots in the entire game and only one shot on target. Bit disappointed about that. Uh, maybe if we had Teller fit for the for the first and the second half, we might have been able to squeeze one in. Well, that's it for now. I'm not disappointed as in we've lost, which we haven't lost. We've drawn. It's a point away. We haven't. We we still haven't lost at home, and we've lost only two games this season. So nothing to be disappointed about. We're looking forward to being the champions of the championship and get some silverware for Burnley Football Club. OK, well, that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to upload the highlights, uh, what they are. <laughs> but um, you should enjoy the, the Burnley attempts on goal, at least. So I'll see you all later on in the video. Okay, all the very best down. Up the clarets, come on lads, we can do it.